Working at the engine cover, red arrow, pull off the two front side air ducts, green arrows. To detach the ducts, pull them straight off the engine cover air filter housing, then pull the front of the duct out of the radiator support and remove it from the engine. Repeat this step for each duct. Lift up and remove the front engine cover. Then remove the radiator cooling fan as indicated by the green arrow. Please see our tech article and video on radiator cooling fan replacement by following the link at the end of this video. There are ducts that run through the sides of the radiator. At each side is a duct in the front and rear. Start by removing the engine compartment side duct, green arrow, by pulling it straight off. Left side shown, right side is similar. Working at the left side radiator hose, use a flathead screwdriver to lever out the coolant hose retaining clip, as indicated by the green arrow. Be sure to pull the retaining clip out until it rests at the stops, blue arrow. Pull the radiator hose straight off the radiator in the direction of the red arrow to remove. This can be tricky. The hoses have been attached to the radiator for quite a while and may not come off easily. You will want to pull the hose off while rocking it back and forth. Be careful not to damage the hose if you plan to reuse it. Inspect the sealing o-ring, blue arrow, before reinstalling. If it is dry rotted or crack, replace the hose or the o-ring. Move to the right side of the radiator and remove the four hoses. Then remove the small transmission cooler lines. Be sure to seal them as soon as they are removed. You don't want any engine coolant or debris entering the hose. Transmission damage may occur if that happens. Next, the air dam and duct at the front of the radiator have to be removed. Start by removing the plastic rivets at the side of the radiator support. Working at the left side of the radiator support, lever the center pin up, red arrow, then pull the rivet out of the radiator support. Move to the center of the plastic air dam and pull the hood pin panel, as indicated by the red arrow, away from the radiator and move the dam, blue arrow, above it. Back to the left side of the radiator, pull the air dam, blue arrow, away from the radiator, red arrow, then unclip the air dam, green arrow, from the connecting duct, yellow arrow. Remove the connecting duct from the dam. Pull the air dam away from the radiator and detach it from the radiator support. Move to the right side of the radiator. Pull the air dam away from the radiator. Then unclip the air dam, green arrow, from the connecting duct, red arrow. Remove the connecting duct from the dam. This photo shows the air dam, green arrow, detached from the cooling duct, red arrow. Now that the air dam is out of the way, you have to detach the power steering cooling loop, green arrows, and the AC condenser, red arrows, from the radiator. Start at the right side of the cooling loop, blue arrow. Working at the right side of the power steering cooling loop, green arrow, squeeze the retaining tabs, yellow arrows, together and pull the cooling loop off the mount at the radiator. Move to the left side of the cooling loop, squeeze the retaining tabs, red arrow, together and pull the cooling loop off the mount at the radiator. I like to reach into the engine compartment and push the hoses, green arrow, towards the bumper while squeezing the retaining tabs. It makes detaching the loop much easier. Next, detach the AC condenser, squeeze the retaining tabs, red arrows, together and pull the condenser off the mount at the radiator. Left side shown, right side is similar. Next up, the lower air dam has to be detached from the radiator. There are two retaining tabs at each lower corner of the dam. Working under the vehicle at the right lower side of the radiator, squeeze the retainer, red arrow, and pull the dam out of the radiator, green arrow. Right side shown, the left is similar. This photo shows the retaining tab removed, yellow arrow. Note the lower portion of the retainer. This has been disengaged as you squeeze. Right side shown, left side similar. When reinstalling the air dam, be sure the condenser is out of the way. Then feed the upper tab, red arrow, into the radiator, 
Blue Arrow. Then engage the retaining clip. The air dam will remain in the vehicle. Once the air dam is detached, move the condenser, green arrow, away from the radiator, red arrow. Make sure the power steering loop and air dam are also out of the way. To remove the radiator, pull it up out of the radiator support upwards, red arrow, and out of the engine compartment. Lower the new radiator into the engine compartment and install on the support. Be sure both rubber insulators are properly engaged in the tab on the body and slot in the radiator. You will want to check that the radiator is properly engaged to the lower radiator support. The way I do this is, once the radiator is installed without the fasteners, I pull on the bottom of the radiator. It should stay put. If it pulls out, you did not get it in correctly. If that's the case, you have to lift it up and try again. Check that the upper mounts are tight. If needed, remove the center pin, yellow arrow, by pulling it straight up. Then unscrew to tighten the mount or screw to loosen. This adjusts the depth of the insulator, red arrow, into the radiator slot, green arrow. Once it is installed properly, reassemble the hoses and radiator support covers. Then install the cooling fan and fill and bleed the cooling system. Run the engine and double check for coolant leaks. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.